It's Bristol, baby. Lesson from the brain, seeing the beauty to the... Noah Gregson just had a very controversial finish at Bristol. Who would have thought? A, a controversial race at Bristol. Like, that? Ne that's never happened before. But this, is ha this finish has fans coming out of the woodworks giving him a lot of hate for his aggressive style of driving, including myself, but I kind of changed my mind. I kind of did a full 180. Uh, but after sleeping on it, I have found a new opinion not just on the incident, but on Noah Gregson as a whole after looking at some of his stats because I was bored. Um, so I just want to let you guys know what my thoughts are on the situation and on Noah Gregson and what I think his future will look like. And also I want to say, nice mullet Noah, it looks great. What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the video and today we are going to be talking about Noah Gregson and kind of just... No, Gregson. There's nothing. It's a pretty broad topic. We're going to talk about the answer. We're going to talk about his, the concerns with him. And I want to talk about his future. And I want to kind of recap his season last season. So, a lot of stuff about Noah Gregson today. So, if you guys do enjoy, make sure you like, hit the subscribe button. And I want to hear you guys' thoughts on Noah Gregson because I'm sure there's some people out there that are defending him. Not that many, but there are also a large amount of people that are giving him a lot of hate for that finish. I do think it was somewhat of a dirty finish, which I'll get into in a, in a little bit, but. I don't think it was intentional, and I'll get into that in a little bit. So, like I said, be sure to let me know you guys' thoughts, and let's go ahead and get into today's video. I want to start by talking about the incident at Bristol. And this incident was a pretty controversial one. Like I said, we'll look at it in just a minute, but um, a lot of people were very quick to call Noah Gregson a dirty driver for the situation that occurred at Bristol. Quite honestly, looking at his history so far this season, I don't really blame you, the, you know, my Ad Snyder situation, but um, after a while, and even I felt the same way about it, but after a while, I kind of changed my mind. This is clearly Noah Gregson's fault, but I do think the term short track racing does apply here, but let's take a look at the incident. So we look at the situation here, the 7 lets the 9 in, this is where he made the biggest mistake, laying that 9 in, 9 gets to his inside, runs 3 and 4 perfectly, um, I actually thought he was going to get the lead here, but wasn't able to clear him, it's Bristol, so yeah, but then the 7 pinches him here, and I don't know if just if he wasn't, if he wasn't Noah just wasn't expecting him to pinch, obviously he missed the corner, I'm not sure what happened there, I think he maybe was trying to throw it in, anticipating the 7 maybe taking a higher lane, but at the end of the day, he wrecked the 7. That was Noah Gregson's mistake. His fault, but it was very similar, oddly similar, to a certain driver that drives the same number as him, the 9, uh, in the Cup Series. We'll leave him unnamed, but it looked very similar, just instead of on the outside, it was on the inside this time, at least to me. At the end of the day, it's Bristol. Like, we expect finishes like that. We expect controversy like that at Bristol, and it's entertaining. So why are we really complaining about this? So I want to quickly touch on the Mayat Snyder Noah Gregson situation at Las Vegas. If you guys don't know what happened, Noah Gregson intentionally wrecked Mayat Snyder. Now after the race, he talked to Michael Waltrip, and Waltrip said that Noah Gregson said he wrecked Mayat Snyder on purpose because Mayat Snyder was blocking. I think that's very extreme, and I think uh, it's pretty, you know, kind of short-tempered right there. But who knows? Maybe it happened more than just a few times. I don't know, but it was definitely uncalled for to do that it was a dirty move by noah gregson and just like i said uncalled for uh just because he's blocking doesn't mean you just dump him but you know uh, you can really just go to any driver and you know point out a, a, a time where you know tempers took over matt kenseth one of the least tempered you know drivers that i can think of in the sport you, we saw what he did to joey logano so it's 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 not like um you know, I don't hate Matt Kenza for that or anything like that, and it was a really dirty move, but it was hilarious. Um, but anyways, like, you can just point to any point in driver's, you know, careers, and they probably have a situation similar to what Noah Gregson had uh, at Las Vegas, and just the same as Bristol, Chase Elliott just had his big mistake kind of thing, uh, just like Noah Gregson just did at Bristol. The only difference is Chase didn't win, and Noah did, but it happens so um all in all i do think bristol's honest mistake las vegas obviously wasn't but it was one 
big uh, one big thing that you know it's just one so it's kind of an isolated event if you will so I'm not gonna you know if it, if it continues happening throughout the season then okay but um, after his you know pretty clean rookie season um, I don't see much reason to dwell on it I actually think Noah Gregson's rookie season was somewhat impressive. Noah was unable to capture a win, came close a couple times, was able to get 9 top 5s, 22 top 10s, and finished 8th in points. It wasn't a flashy season by any stretch of the imagination, but it was a consistent one. And from a rookie, that's pretty good. I know it's still the Xfinity series, you can't like suck him off because he's consistent and like you would in the Cup series, but in the Xfinity series, I think it's a pretty solid campaign for rookie. I would have liked to see him get a win, but he's already got two this year, which is, you know, nice a nice thing to see. But one thing that I really took away from this was that he only had one DNF the entire season. Yes, it was a crash, but if you want to give him this narrative of Ricky Stenhouse where you're crashing every race and, you know, you're, you're damaging equipment and stuff after just seven races, why don't we point out that his rookie season, he only had one DNF, one crash out. I mean, that's, that's really good for a young driver in whatever series. Typically, you're going to see more than just one crash out, more than just one, uh, you know, bad finish. So, um, that's something that I really like to see out of Noah Gregson. And uh, just any young driver, that's a good quality to have that at any level is to be able to finish races. You see drivers struggle with finishing races. Ross Chastain is one that, yes, he's he's a talented driver, but you see him make a lot of mistakes that cause him to get bad finishes. Noah Gregson was able to get some uh, consistently be in the top 10 for over half the season. So uh, props to him. I'm not saying he's better than Ross Chastain, don't get me wrong, but... Uh, Ross Chastain is somebody who, and I think that's kind of a product of him being in mid-tier equipment, uh, he's somebody who struggles at finishing races, and when you see him in the Cup Series, he's always making aggressive moves, and that a lot of times gets him in trouble and, you know, ruins what could have been a great day. And uh, we saw that happen at Bristol, he wrecked early, but that's not, it's not a Ross Chastain show. All I'm saying is, is that it's something that Ross Chastain is struggling with. He's somebody who's easily more talented than Noah Gregson, but Noah Gregson, not so much struggling with. Just wanted to point that out. I'm sure there will people be some people that disagree with that, but um, just to kind of cap off this segment, I don't think we should be giving him the you know title of a dirty driver after just two incidents in, what, 40 races um, in his career. So I think it's a little pre premeditated to give him that. I'm not saying Noah Gregson is is the next guy to be in the 48. I don't think that. I don't. I don't think he should be in the Cup Series for three to four years even. But I am saying uh, that he's not a dirty driver like a lot of people seem to be giving him the reputation for. And he is a driver that I think one day can turn into a future Cup driver and you know be a solid one at that. So um, I'm not sure where he'll get his opportunity, how he'll get to the Cup Series, but I do think at some point we'll see him in the Cup Series. I'm not, I don't think it'll be for Hendrick. I think Hendrick will actually be full for quite a while for once. So um, he's going to have to find it elsewhere. But wherever he finds it, hopefully it's a good place for him. And hopefully he gets wins, fin great finishes, and great, sh who knows, a champion. No, I'm just kidding. But, uh, you know, I think Noah Gregson is a talented driver who does kind of go on the radar even by myself. I didn't put him in my top five most talented young drivers video. So, um I do think he, he's right on the cusp of being in that. But for some reason, I just didn't put him in there. Anyways, um, that's really all I got. Um, if you guys disagree, please let me know in the comment section if you agree or whatever you want to do. Put it in the comment section uh, below. Put all your thoughts down there. Be sure to leave a like. Hit the subscribe button if you guys are new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.